Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix download Kodo exceeded for this file Google Drive error. Before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we actually fix this issue? Well, the first thing you need to do here is you need to access the URL of the file that you're trying to access. Now, just an example, we have this file here. Now, typically when you access a file, it's going to look like or similar to this one. So in this case, it's kind of different with the usual uh, URL that you're getting in Google Drive. So I'll be showing you how to actually change this and actually download that file. In this case, what we need to do is we need to identify the sections that we want to replace. In this case, we first need to look for the section here that says u slash zero slash zero uc question mark id is equal. In this case, we need to replace this by file slash d slash. In this case is going to copy or type in the following in this section here, which is going to be uh, this one. In this case, let's go ahead and copy or uh, basically highlight this one and type in file slash d slash. And uh, from here, we are good. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to actually uh, change the other section, which is going to be at the very end. So look for end export is equal to download and replace this with slash view. In this case, let's go and click on copy. Now from here, let's go ahead and highlight this section here, paste our uh, text here, or type in your text. And from here, just press on enter, and you should be able to start viewing that specific file. Now once you've viewed this file, instead of downloading the file again, what you need to do is you need to add a shortcut on your in your drive. In this case, go ahead and click on the add shortcut to drive at the top right here. And once you've clicked it, go ahead and choose the location. In this case, let's go and click on my drive here and click on add. Once we've done that, it's going to add the shortcut. So let's go and go to our drive. As you can see, we now have this specific uh, uh, file here. In this case, let's go ahead and create a new folder. Let's go, let's go and click on the new, click on new folder here. And from here, you can name this whatever you want. So for example, I'm going to say it is going to be a test folder. Just click on create. Now. What we need to do is we need to uh, actually uh, move this one. So in this case, you could go ahead and uh, basically uh, move this in this section here. So typically what I like to do is you just need to press and hold on it, just drag it into test folder. Once you've done that, as you can see, it is now in our folder. Now, instead of just going to that folder and right clicking on it and just clicking download, we need to go back. So in this case, view the actual folder itself. In this case, let's go and click on folders here. And from here, this is the folder that we created and added the shortcut to it. In this case, what we need to do is right click on it. And from here, click on download. And from then on, it's going to zip that file. And from here on, you should be able to download that file. Well, in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.